Now let's talk about the stagnation pressure. So you have a body like this, okay, and over this body some fluid which is compressible in nature is flowing. Now we take two points, one is point 1 over here and the other point is point 2 over here. Now point 2 is the stagnation point where the flow becomes stagnant. So we need to find out the properties that is the pressure and temperature at the point of stagnation. So we will start with the calculation of the stagnation pressure. Now because we are using a compressible flow, okay, so we will apply the Bernoulli's equation in between these two points for a compressible flow and that was K upon K minus 1 into P upon rho g plus V1 square by 2g is equal to or let us let's have the potential also z1 is equal to k upon k minus 1 into p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2. So I can strike off g from here and I can strike off z from here. So the relation that is left, so this is 1 and this is 2, so you will have k upon k minus 1 into p1 by rho 1 plus v1 square by 2 is equal to. Let us say that at point 2 the pressure is Ps and the density changes to rho s. And the velocity will become 0 because it is a point where the entire flow becomes stagnant. Alright, so V2 would be 0 and you are going to have K upon K minus 1 into Ps upon rho s. Let us bring this entire part on the left hand side and bring the velocity onto the right hand, uh, right hand side. So you will have K upon K minus 1. Let me take P1 upon rho 1 also common. So you will have 1 minus rho 1 by p1 into ps by rho s this is equal to minus v1 square upon 2 all right let us uh, rearrange this a bit so you will have k upon k minus 1 into p1 by rho 1 minus 1 minus rho 1 by rho s into P s by P 1 equal to minus V 1 square by 2. Now let us assume an adiabatic flow. So for adiabatic flow the relation between pressure and density is this. So P by rho to the power k is constant. So you will have P 1 by rho 1 to the power k is equal to P s upon rho s to the power k. Let us get a value for rho 1 by rho s, okay, because we need to find out from this entire analysis the value of Ps. So you will have rho 1 upon rho s to power k is equal to P1 upon Ps. If I remove the power from the densities, it will come to the pressure. So now if I have to replace the value of rho 1 by rho s, it will be p1 by ps to the power 1 by k or ps by p1 to the power minus 1 by k. So this would be k upon k minus 1 into p1 by rho 1, 1 minus this would be ps upon p1 minus 1 by k into ps upon p1 is equal to minus v1 square upon 2. So let us combine this and you will get k upon k minus 1 p1 by rho 1 1 minus ps by p1 the power k minus 1 by k is equal to minus v1 square upon 2. Okay. Now from here let us get a relation for P s by P1. So you will get, let us take this on the uh, right hand side. So you will have 1 minus 
PS by P1 to the power K minus 1 by K is equal to minus K minus 1 by K into rho 1 by P1 into V1 square by 2 into V1 square by 2. Okay. Let me get this also onto the other side. So you will have and let's get rid of the uh, negative sign first. Okay, so you will get PS upon P1 to the power K minus 1 by K is equal to 1 plus K minus 1 upon K into rho 1 by P1 into V1 square by 2. Now if you remember the value for the velocity of sound it is k into r into t. Now what is r t? It is p by rho. This is what you get. If I take the square root or square on both sides you will get c square is equal to k into p by rho. So for the subscript 1 I will have this value. So c1 square is equal to k into p1 by rho 1. So k into p1 by rho 1 becomes c1 square. So this would be having, you can replace this part as 1 by c1 square. So you will have 1 plus k minus 1 by 2 into v1 square upon c1 square. Now what is v, v by c? It is the Mach number. So this is the Mach number corresponding to the velocity 1 or at section 1. So you will have 1 plus k minus 1 by 2 into m1 square because this entire value is the Mach number. Okay, So from here I can get a value for PS very easily because I will take the power on to the other side. So this would give me PS is equal to P1 into 1 plus k minus 1 by 2 into m1 square to the power k upon k minus 1. So this is the mathematical formula to calculate the stagnation pressure. So I hope you got this entire analysis and remember this formula. Now let's move on to the next video and talk about the calculation of the stagnation temperature.